Welcome back to another Warframe video and today I just want to talk about Caliban and get you guys thoughts on Caliban because I know everybody is already talking about him and I kind of wanted to uh, make this video about him and what you guys think about him actually since he's been out uh, I, you know me honestly I don't really like Caliban I don't really like what he kind of has going on the sentient, however, spawning, like, the abilities and stuff, which, you know what, let's go over the abilities, but, you know, the most ability that I really was looking forward to was Lethal Progeny, but we'll go over the full abilities. So, we got Razor Gyre, if that's how you say it. Become a spinning vortex of death. Hold R2 to accelerate the Maelstorm, uh, increasing damage or target an enemy by tapping the dash toward them. Hitting enemies inflicted with sentient wrath creates a destructive blast. So that sounds pretty nice. Sentient wrath smash the ground, sending out a radio wave of destruction. Those not killed by the initial blast are helplessly lifted into the air where they take amplified damage for a short time. So, um, yeah, amplify. Uh, sorry, sentient wrath is really focused on... It's more focused on like support like keeping enemies in the air but not really damage wise so yeah that's that's the only thing that sucks about sentient wrath but i kind of figured this ability wasn't going to do as much as you thought it would lethal progeny uh, call on caliban sentient aspect to reduce up three conculus comrades to fight by his side and repair his shields so that's what we saw in update uh, no, sorry, the death stream that we saw. Um, he was the the city was giving off energy or shield. That's what I thought. But now, as you see the abilities and um, the description of them, it repairs his shield. So, you know, it's giving shield, increasing shield, and that's really amazing. But project the the sentients don't do what they're supposed to be doing as well, which is killing. You know, and not doing a lot of damage towards that. So that's what I expected to really come out of. Caliban, but maybe again I should have thought twice. Like, did is just not gonna do that? So I don't know. It's just, I it really would have been nice if they could do that for once. But yeah, it's Dijushin. What can you expect more? Converge three beams of raw energy upon a single point, causing a massive reactive blast. The fallout from the blast will strip the armor and shields from all enemies that touch it, and. This ability sounds really amazing. It strips any armors. That's what I'm really happy about. Um, you know, I, I actually really enjoy the ability. It doesn't do that much damage, obviously, if we're talking about Steel Path. But, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, he's kind of like a survival ability type morphing because of lethal progeny. But at the same time, it's like, Caliban, why couldn't you do more damage with sentience? You know? That's why I really wanted to uh, come out of him. Now, if we're talking about a build, this is my setup. You don't have to take this. This build is not really anything serious, all right? And that's why I'm not really doing a build video. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys anyways. If you really needed a build or something, you know, there's a bunch of builds out there that are already uh, popping up. So, yeah, like I said, this is nothing serious. So keep that in mind. But anyways, I have everything here. I have Breach Recite. Uh, respite honestly you don't kind of really need this in here because you're already getting shields back so i don't see you know the really point of even using this uh this aura so you can change the aura as, as much as you want you know i saw somebody using uh enemy radar you know that's kind of helpful as well you can use energy siphon that's that's pretty good as well um i don't know maybe growing power you know to I don't know, uh, let's say, let's see, like, uh, Sentient Wrath, maybe, this, maybe, you know, increase the ability strength for that. So, yeah, there's many ways you can put on anything, like, you guys want. So, that's just really up to you. Honestly, I, I really don't care what you do. And then, um, for this build, I really just aim for strength, streamline, too, like, uh, for more efficiency. And, um, you know, try to do less cost on that duration as well for my sentience to stay longer that's why i kind of picked them for a survivability build all right then i got arcane energize i got arcane uh, guardian 
for the 900%, yeah, 900% armor every time you take damage. Adaptation for resistance, because he is technically a resistance warframe. All right, and yeah, why not just throw out more resistance? Probably not, though. I'm not really for sure, but he is, uh, should be one of those warframes that can really just avoid that damage. And I forgot all of my energy. So, yeah, I mean, like, he's dope and all, you know, he's, he's pretty cool, cool warframe, like, it's, it's pretty cool at the same time, the fact that you can do a lot of damage with him. I'm sorry, not a lot of damage, but bring shields, you know, for sentience, giving you shield. It's it's actually pretty dope, you know. So I got to say, that's one thing that Caliban has right now with his uh, abilities. It's pretty dope that he can do that. And then obviously you can shift the armor. I mean, sentience do do damage with uh, those armor strip. So that's one thing I do like. And I keep dying. Yeah, I'm going to keep dying because I'm weak as hell. But, yeah, I, I, I guess that's one thing that I actually do like about Caliban is that, you know. This ability will come in handy. But, honestly, would I use it, really use it uh, most of the time? No, not really. I think Fusion Strike... I think that's what it was called. It's the only ability I probably really use often. And sentience. So, because obviously I get shields back. And, yeah, it's it's like pretty fun, I guess, you know? So, maybe Caliban wouldn't be so bad after all. He's more support Warframe. He's more of a, um, you could say, defense Warframe, distraction. Whatever you want to, you know, call him. He's kind of like that Warframe. So... That's why I guess maybe people might actually like him like that. But then again, we were probably expecting something different when it came to Caliban. You know, most definitely me. But that's how you're going to have to play him as. You can also play him, him as a, like, uh, you could put strength on him. You'll just have to keep stripping the armor for Sentience to kill him or kill the enemies. But that's really just it. And uh, what I did was I throw on Growing Power for the build. I threw on um, I threw on empower as well. So every time you know you get a hit on an enemy, growing power cast cast the um, cast empower and then cast the ability that you want to add strength to. And that's what I did for the sentience. I kept doing that every time I cast each sentient. So that's how you can also play it, or just go for a more support. And survivability uh, build. You know, those are your two options. But, you know, the first one is obviously, you know, the, the strength build. It's just like, it's going to take a lot of uh, casting abilities and stuff. So, you know. But anyways, yeah. I mean, that's really just how you can play with Caliban. But anyways, most importantly, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about Caliban. Is he a good Warframe to you? Is he not? Is he playable? What, what, what do you do with him? That can like, you know, make them fun to play with. So, yeah, that is really all for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.